Redneck Programmer here. So we're on video eight. We're gonna dive in here. So first off, let's uh let's go ahead and finish out our equation, right? Because look, this is ounces of alcohol. We've been using stuff like three and four. Well, that's three ounces of alcohol. Now that's not usually what it is, right? Usually you have a percentage of a volume. Uh, so if you got a 12 ounce beer at 5%, well, we'd need to do that math to figure out how many ounces of alcohol is in, you know, uh, a glass of wine. We're not going to do that on this part. What we're going to add is the elimination rate and the time in hours. So let's finish this up here. So first thing we're going to have to do is we're going to need our inputs. We're going to need the time passed, right? Which that could be two and a half hours, one and a half hours, three and a half hours. So we're going to make that a double. Then we just want to use our scanner the way we've always used our scanner, right? Just like in these three, we're just going to do that. Make this a scanner. All right, so we've included this. And instead of time passed input, we're just going to call this time passed, right? Now we have an input coming in from the user that is our time passed in hours. So what we need to do is we need to add this as a parameter for our function that does the calculation, right? Well, if we're going to add it there, then we need to add it here. So that's a double time passed. We've now called it, passed it the time passed. So what's this going to be, this elimination rate? Well, that's 0.017%. So to get that in an actual decimal, you multiply it by 100, it's 0 0.00017, right? So we want to subtract 0 0.00017, right, times the time passed. Now to make sure we get all this so that it's not our, our order of operations, right? Remember what it is? Ped mass, parentheses, exponents, division, multiplication, addition, subtraction. Well, we, we're going to use plenty of parentheses to make sure that we're going to perform this calculation minus this calculation and then all of that divided by the body weight, okay? And then what we need to do here is just replace it. Now we got female here. And let's see how that does. Okay, let's run that. So how many drinks have you had? Well, this is in ounces. So let's say I've had uh, three 12 ounce beers. So 36 ounces. All right, male, 180 pounds. How many hours since I've drank? Well, two hours. So 0.749, okay? That's what we're getting. So let's pull up an actual Widmark calculator to see how close we are. All right, so I don't know this website, but we're gonna use it because it uses a Widmark formula similar to what we got. So we got male, how many ounces did we say? 36, okay? Volume, say 5%. Man drinks in two hours, and we weigh 180 pounds. 0.63. Well, where's our discrepancy coming in? Our discrepancy is coming in right here, right? With our alcohol volume percentage. We're going to add that later, where the user enters 36 ounces of beer at 5%, or 12 ounces of wine at, you know, whatever it is, 17%. And then we'll do that percentage calculation and get out the actual ounces of alcohol to put in our Widmark formula. But for right now, we're getting, we're pretty close, right? We're getting pretty close. So on the next video, we're going to work on a concept that is more, uh, it's, it's not definitions. It's, usually somebody talks about inheritance at this point, public, private methods, protected methods. We're going to start doing something that'll help you think like a software developer, not just learn definitions and, and, and stuff like that. We're going to actually start thinking about how to solve some of these problems, okay? So uh, stay tuned. Thanks, y'all.